After that massive raid by ICE in O'Neill, Nebraska this week, many families stayed overnight in a local church too afraid to go home. Now starts a process of what's next. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor has our top story. When I knew about the raid, I was like, I was like, please, please, I just hope them that none of them they didn't catch my mom or my dad. Both of 15 year old Thomas Garcia's parents were off from work when the immigration raids took place. Since then, they've been too afraid to go home, so they spent the night at a local church with about 30 other families, dreading what's to come. And like, now that my mom can't work anymore, like, um, like, I don't know, and my, my dad's a pastor and he also can't work and like, I don't know where, where else I had. So like, it's either we, it's either the government help us or it's on me now. Thomas fears that he may need to drop out of school and give up on his dreams of a better life in order to keep his family together, an issue that has pulled on the heartstrings of former LULAC president Hector Flores and brought him out of retirement. It's a, a difficult uh, family situation uh, that the children are put in. It's just like the DACA kids who were brought here by their parents, you know, when they were real young. And so they, how could, they didn't commit a crime by coming here. They had no choice. Their parents brought them here. Well, these children are being born here. There's American as apple pie and you and I. LULAC is America's largest and oldest civil rights union in the country. They've come to O'Neill to support immigrant workers as well as provide pro bono lawyers. Unfortunately, um, they were not prepared for this crisis. There were children without their parents. Um, there are children who haven't slept all night because they're fear if they fall asleep. Immigration will come into their home and take their uh, families. The ultimate goal of the organization is comprehensive immigration reform. But for now, they're just trying to keep children with their families. This is a humanitarian crisis. Um, we feel that the only thing that these individuals are guilty of are coming here for a better life. And as Latin American citizens, we believe in protecting our sovereign nation. But we do not believe that it should be at the cost of separation of families. We want to open up the conscience of America. Is this the America that we want? Reporting in O'Neill, Nebraska, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.